So we woke up bright and early and got some breakfast so we could get to the Universal Studios Park by Road Drop. security and then it went, got to where the rope drop was, dropped the rope and we got into the park. ride we went on was Forbidden Journey in in Hogsmeade, the Hogwarts ride. And then after that ride we went to fight the hippogriff. <laughs>
said there was only five minute wait time. How much where are you going? Wait time. Eight, six, eight. Five minutes. Are you actually going to go on it? Fastest ride in that Universal Hollywood Park. Ah. 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 
Optimus Bumblebee is closed. Jurassic World. We actually wrote that twice because we really enjoyed it. Transformers where we queued for around 25 minutes. Okay, line for Optimus Bumblebee is boom. for lunch at Moe's. I, I got a crusty burger, buzz cola and some fries and he got the same but with orange juice and so did his father. Going up to the uh, upper lot. Right. Yeah, 
That's just what I said. Mummy and Transformers. Can we see what's in there? Guys, call her Krusty Burger. We went straight to the backup tour where we saw all the sets and New York streets that they have and stuff from like a bunch of different movies and stuff and where they film like The Voice. That took about 45 minutes. That's great. Make sure you get all the English one. Hi, I'm Alicia. In just a few minutes, you're gonna board our tram for a tour of the movie studio that can last as long as one hour. That's right, an hour. Because of the length of the tour, we strongly recommend that you use the restrooms here in the tram plaza before you board the tram. Oh, hey there. You made it. Welcome to the Universal Studio Tour. I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'll be making sure that you get through this experience in one piece. You've got the very best guys. And the greatest driver, Joseph. They're the best. I love them. Even though Patrick owes me five bucks. Wait, what? If you look on your right side, you'll see just a few movie posters from some of the over 8,000 different productions we've done at Universal. That's right, over 8,000. And that's not counting all the music videos, commercials, or reality TV shows. We're a full city dedicated to making movies. In fact, on our right over there, that's our fire station. Fire Station 51. It's a real working fire station, guys. Hey, guys! Give them a wave. They work real, real hard to make sure we're real safe every single day. It's also based off one of my favorite Ron Howard movies, Backdraft. <laughs> now, like I said, we're a full city. The only thing that we don't have that all other cities have are residents. No one lives here. Everyone works here all day and night making movies. It all started back in 1909 with our founder, Carl Levely, home with the voice for 20 seasons, but was the welcome center to Jurassic Park, Frankenstein's Lab, and Dracula's Castle. They're called sound stages because they are 98% soundproof, and about 90% of all filmmaking is done inside these bad boys. In fact, in 7, 8, and 14, 
We're retelling the story of a young man from West Philadelphia, born and raised. I'm actually from Philly myself, but no, I'm talking about Bel Air. A dramatic retelling of the 90s hit sitcom series, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. The building Ted is standing next to, those are our pre-production bungalows. This is where everything gets started. The script writing, casting, storyboarding, you name it. They look like living apartments because back in the 1910s, the 1960s, they were. Stars like Lucille Ball, Jimmy Stewart, Doris Day, Rock Hudson were all living these buildings and then walk over to the sound stages whenever they needed to work. Now the stars of today are using them for their very own projects. Over there on the left, that is Seven Bucks Production Studio. That is Dwayne The Rock Johnson Studio, named for after how he only had seven dollars in his pocket before he joined the WWE. We also have the Wicked Balloon on the left, defying gravity. That's because Mark Platt Productions is still working on Wicked Part One, starring Cynthia Erivo, Ariana Grande, and Jeff Goldblum. The casting crew, whenever they needed to go inside for hairspray, they would use those sound stages. And whenever they needed to go outside the big old city of Baltimore, they just used the Big Apple, New York Street, right here. And that's the big difference between our front lot and our back lot. Our front lot holds all our, our interior stages, and our back lot holds all our huge exterior stages. And that's where we're going to be spending the rest of the tour. In fact, as we roll into Brownstone, where that group is standing on the steps right there, you may recognize those stairs from Bruce Almighty. Check this out. Grace the dog! I'm in the shower! Brr. Inside bad, outside good. Inside bad, outside good. Oh, you're done now. Great. Be -E -A beautiful. Now, those stairs blew your mind. This is really going to blow your mind because it's a good thing Joseph can only get this tram to go 8 miles an hour instead of 88 miles an hour because if you guys look off to your left, you're going to see Courthouse Square. But some of you guys might know it as Hill Valley, California from 1985's Back to the Future. It was actually the back lot of the Courthouse Square that inspired the entire climate. This is also New York for Spider-Man 2 and then Spider-Man again. <laughs> Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, respectively. And if you've seen New York in the movies, it was probably right here on the Universal lot. Check this out. Hey everyone, welcome to New York. I got my start right here in New York on Saturday Night Live. This is actually my old neighborhood. I once got mugged over there by an old woman. By Verna Fields of Jaws fame. That movie just turned 50 this month. Have a few Back to the Future beauties and a few Bedrock beauties from the Flintstones movies. Now, all those Flintstones cars are just souped up golf cars covered in foam, rubber, and fiberglass. Pulled around on set by giant tow cables. We also have one of the Ford Anglias from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. That is one of 17 and a half of those picture cars. We also have the Gyrosphere from Jurassic World. So everyone, what's the gyrosphere missing? The glass, right? Yes! That glass was never there. It was a 3D effect added in post-production because the glass would have reflected the production crew as they were trying to film the kids inside. We also have a tank from the Transformers series. Now, that is not a real tank, but it is really made of pressed and painted plywood and PVC pipe. In fact, that bent barrel right there has just a bent PVC pipe painted to look rusty. The same PVC pipe you guys can find under your kitchen sink. Sounds like we're just in time for a storm, in case you missed one yesterday. <laughs> now, all that thunder you're hearing, all that lightning you're seeing, it's just from secret speakers and flash bulbs on the building to the right. Normally, all that is added in post-production, like the sphere from Jurassic World. And once a storm, boop, without a little rain. I love that button, it's so cool. Now it's from this very advanced piece of technology called a sprinkler. <laughs> now, but all those water droplets are extra big, about five times bigger, so they'll actually show up on camera. Otherwise you have to add this a 3D overlay effect in post and off. No. Uh, Joseph, Joseph, the button's broken, what do I do? It's broken, dude! What do I do? What do you mean gonna get? Hold on a sec, guys. Wait, what's that? Oh no! Here, here's the flash flood, guys! Here we go again! Oh, mama mia!
That was our Flash Flood set. It's been with the tour since 1968. Some of you may recognize that area from the 2011 Lady Gaga music video. Judas. Sounds, you'd be as loud and as crazy as you wanted. We still invite audiences today. In fact, we invite audiences to come watch all our uh, celebrity uh, singing competitions like The Voice over there at Sound Stages 30 and 31. Now, as we pull out of six points, it's my job to tell you that we're about halfway done with the tour. So please remain seated, supervise any small children, keep your hands and feet inside the tram, and pull that ready cord in case there is an emergency. We'll be returning to the theme park in approximately 25 minutes. Now as we pull out of six points, we're entering a little place called Little Europe. This is actually the home of the Universal Monster Movies, guys. This is where it all got started. But some of you Eagle Eye viewers may see a sign that says, Welcome to the Good Place. That's right, everybody. Welcome to the Afterlife. The home of the Netflix comedy starring Kristen Bell and Ted Danson. You, Eleanor Shostrom, are dead. Mm -hmm. Cool. This location, the afterlife, come on. I have never ever seen this. You're in the good place. I'm not supposed to be here. It's about to have its 100th year anniversary this September. But it was also Transylvania for Dracula, Robia. Or Frankenstein. What is it now? The monster. He's in the woods. Get out of the house. In fact, we're going to a little place known here on the lot as Amity Island. Hope you guys brought your sunscreen. Who's ready for a day at the beach? Looks like it's just safe enough to go back in the water. I want to catch up on my buddy George. He's in there making sure there isn't anything else in there. So what are you guys on? Oh. Oh no! That's another shark! George! George, get out of there! What are you doing? Get out of there! Oh. George had a lot of guts going in there. Uh, meat chase canceled. Uh, put away your towels, put away your sunscreen. We're, we're, we're gonna get out of here. Uh, so please remain seated. It's too and small children. Keep your hands and feet inside the tram and pull that ready cord in case there is an emergency. We're gonna make sure you guys aren't shark bait. You know, maybe, maybe uh, the thing is full of, uh, of George right now. I won't, don't want to cook us, right? Oh! Oh no, this is not fine. He really is trying to cook us. Does anyone have eyes on that shark? Oh, it's Jaws 1! Jaws 2! For the best little whorehouse in Texas, starring Dolly Parton and Burt Reynolds. It's a practical set designed to be shot both inside and out. And these houses here on Colonial Street are also all practical sets. At least most of them are. Some of them on here on the right are still just shells, which means they're just the outside. Now, this is Anywhere USA. In fact, on the left right there, that is 1313 Mockingbird Lake for the Monsters. That yellow house right there is Davy's house from the mini killing Netflix comedy Never Have I Ever, but some of you may recognize this as Wisteria Lane from ABC's Desert Housewives. If there is one thing everyone in suburbia can appreciate, it's a good neighbor. Tell and the original Psycho House from Alfred Hitchcock's 1960 classic, Psycho. We all go a little mad sometimes. They're right now undergoing construction for Halloween Horror Nights. In fact, I think the Bates Motel is going to turn into a Roach Motel when Exterminators is here. Hope you guys like big bugs. <laughs> Now, this is the original Psycho House here on the left. It was originally just two walls that looked much bigger and thus more intimidating on camera. Oh, hey! Hey, Norman! Uh, hopefully you didn't hear me talking. Oh, man! Uh, maybe he's inviting you guys to dinner. Oh! 
Okay, let's, uh, let's keep pulling up this psychopath. You know, maybe he's just mad that we're doing all this construction over there and not helping him clean up his backyard. Look at this plane crash, guys. It's not just any plane crash either. This is the plane crash from Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds.